My husband's administration will not stop fighting until there is an effective treatment or vaccine available to everyone. As an immigrant and a very independent woman, I understand what a privilege it is to live here and to enjoy the freedoms and opportunities that we have. My husband and I have visited many places that have been affected by natural disaster. And we are deeply moved by the strength of the people who have lost everything and the kindness of neighbors and communities. But Donald and I are also inspired by the millions of Americans who wake up each day with a simple yet courageous goal of providing for their families and keeping them safe. You are the backbone of this country. No matter the amount of negative or false media headlines or attacks from the other side, Donald Trump has not and will not lose focus on you. He's not a traditional politician. He doesn't just speak words. He demands action and he gets results. I urge people to come together in a civil manner so we can work and live up to our standard American ideals. I also ask people to stop the violence and looting being done in the name of justice and never make assumptions based on the color of a person's skin. I will continue to build upon the best and work with individual states to pass legislation to take care of our most vulnerable. I plan to continue the work I have started with children in foster care, as well as the minority communities and tribal nations. In my husband, you have a president who will not stop fighting for you and your families. I see how hard he works each day and night, and despite the unprecedented attacks from the media and opposition, he will not give up. In fact, if you tell him he cannot be done, he just works harder. As you have heard this evening, I don't want to use this precious time attacking the other side. Because as we saw last week, that kind of talk only serves to divide the country further. We all know Donald Trump makes no secrets about how he feels about things. Total honesty is what we as citizens deserve from our president. Whether you like it or not, you always know what he's thinking. I believe that we need my husband's leadership now more than ever in order to bring us back once again to the greatest economy and the strongest country ever known.